All right. Turbo John here. Wait a minute. Did I just call myself Turbo John? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I wonder how that name got started. That is not right. That is the first time I have ever said I'm Turbo John. I have no idea where that name came from or, or how I got it. I know how I got it. I was one of the first turbo cars in the area. But I have no idea who coined me Turbo John. Does anybody know? Can somebody tell me? So a little background real quick. Uh, 2001, at the beginning age of the internet, I saw a video. It was a turbo coupe. Um, I do not remember the guy's name, but it was a twin turbo, home built, uh, 302, and it was bad and I loved it. So I went on the hunt for a turbo car and at a salvage auction, I found my first one. It was a 1987 uh, turbo coupe. It was light blue and it had the 2.3 with the single turbo intercooled and it was pretty slow. I mean, but it had the little turbo wine. It didn't take me long to realize that all I had to do was manipulate the pressure going to the wastegate. And it turned into just a little shh, to a woo, and it was bad. It ran like nine O's with the little 2.3. It was very impressive. When I say nine O's, I mean the eighth mile, not the quarter mile. It was not that impressive. Regardless, that was my first turbo experience. Uh, I sold all my nitro stuff. Um, oh, and, and quickly I blew the engine up, the 2.3. I uh, also realized pretty, pretty quick that it was really easy to make power and it was really easy to blow engines up with a turbo. But I had blown a lot up with nitrous too. So, I mean, I wasn't too unhappy. I wasn't too disappointed. Off I went. I dropped a 302 in the turbo coupe and on all the message boards, my name was Turbo T-Birds. And I started posting and seeking information and trying to make mine turbocharged. Uh, first turbocharger was off of a semi-truck, a DT-466E. It was a little T, uh, T04E 57 millimeter turbo. Uh, it was really pretty cool for what it was and it was pretty decently fast. I don't remember how fast it actually went, but it went pretty good. It was, it was decently fast, uh, but soon I wanted to be faster, and, and there I went. Um, so I went back to the salvage yard uh, where the transfer truck lot was, and I got a uh, turbo off of a, it was a big rig. It was a, um, off of a Detroit diesel. It was a TV8102, and it had a 123 turbine housing on it, and uh, I think the compressor wheel was was 76 or 78 millimeters. I, I don't remember exactly, but um, it was laggy, very laggy. And that was also before the days where we had bump boxes and you know good trans brakes that you know you could you could really get it to spool up. So I used nitrous a little bit to, to help it spool, which was a mistake sometimes uh, because, you know, a 200 shot of nitrous or 150 shot of nitrous on top of some boost coming in makes it really tricky. And to top it all off, of course, it was blow through carburetor. So that was always challenging. Um, blow through carb is, is one of those things that I, I quickly learned and Brent Davis, Iris Self, Boost Doctor, uh, they were some of the first ones that did the blow through carb. And so I learned a lot of information with them. Uh, they shared a ton of information. Uh, it, was, it was really a good time uh, blowing stuff up, uh, figuring out how to make it work, figuring out how to read those spark plugs. Tried to use an EGT and that was always uh, difficult. Um, you know, to monitor when you, you didn't know what you were doing. So, you know, you're looking for a cold, not hot. And, you know, if you retard the timing too much or if you put too much fuel in it, it burns in the pipe. And then when it's burning in the pipe, you get hot. So it makes you think you're, you're going the opposite and you keep adding fuel. 
it, it's definitely, you know, it's a learning curve. I think the best that car ever went was a 704 at 104 miles per hour. Um, and when it come on, it come on like a light switch about 200 foot out. Well, you know, I was one of the only budget turbo cars out there. There were some high-end turbo cars out there in the in the pro mod world. Um, you know, they were just getting started. Somebody called me Turbo John at some point, and I was like, who's that? So, you know, locally around here, that's, you know, what everybody calls me. I'm probably one of the slowest turbo cars locally. Um, now, I've been passed, um, you know, by the competition. Um, I always, uh, you know, on a budget, uh, try to do more with less, try to make good decisions, uh, not just throw a bunch of money at it. But sometimes it works out, you make good decisions, and sometimes you make bad decisions. And sometimes I think racing in general is a bad decision. Man, oh man, is it fun. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing you can do. I mean, it's just that adrenaline rush. Um, the butterflies, I still get butterflies every time, you know, I roll to the burnout box. Done it hundreds of times, hundreds of times, and I get the butterflies. And then once you start doing the burnout, the butterflies go away and you start focusing on what you're going to do. And then it's crazy. We spend so much money to go faster and faster and faster. That's a good point. I am not waiting on the UPS truck at the moment. I am just, this is perfect light for me, I think. Is that my good side? But that's just a little bit about me and, you know, I've been drag racing, you know, for, for a very long time. That's how I got my name Turbo John, though. Um, it, it's definitely interesting to hear people still call me Turbo John. This is a, a you know, it's a hobby. This is a, something that we do for fun. We have a good time. Sometimes I think it's a, another career. As much time and effort as I put into it and as much money as I sink into it, um, but you know, we do it for fun. I'm a professional tinker, tinker, a professional tinker, 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 tinker. Clearly I'm not a professional. I have been drag racing since I was 16 years old. Uh, first car was a 1984 Trans Am with a 305. It was bad. It was pretty. It was a nice little show car and it had a little cam in it. So I thought it was fast, but then quickly it didn't take long and I, I realized it really was not that fast. So I had a local machine shop, rebuild the engine, uh, went to a 350 cubic inch engine. Uh, he put an RV camshaft in it. I don't know if it was a uh, three quarter camshaft or a half camshaft or a full race camshaft, but it was an RV camshaft is what it said on my bill. And it had Edelbrock tubular headers. Sounded really good with that RV camshaft. Uh, had a 700 R4 transmission in it. And it was bad. It was fast. I spanked my buddy's Camaro. Um, it was quick. Until I took it to the drag strip. And it ran pretty slow. And then my buddy with the Camaro was tired of being outrun. So he shows up with a Forest Green 1990 Mustang GT, and we raced, and he spanked me, and it was bad, and it was basically stock. It had a, a standard issue K&N air filter, uh, two chamber flow masters, and 14 degrees of timing. Many of your old school folks, y'all knew that was what you needed to do to a Mustang to make it go fast. So it wasn't long after that, that I got my first taste of a Mustang. It was a 1993 Mustang Coupe, uh, the 205 horsepower version. So it wasn't long and I done the standard uh, upgrades, uh, air filter, mufflers, timing, uh, 73 millimeter mass air, 70 millimeter throttle body. Um, those all basic things. Oh, and I also did a uh, dry shot of nitrous. Man, we used to run those things all the time. We called it in the cotton fields back then, but I guess in now they would call it Mexico. They progressed, and then I ended up with a couple other cars, sold several Mustangs, got several Mustangs, and now I've got the one uh, that I have now. All right, just a little bit of history about me and my life in the, the drag racing scene. 
Um, you know, it's been a hobby for always, and hopefully I'll always be able to, to drag race. Um, it's, it's definitely fun. It's relaxing uh, going over and working on the cars and you know, just focusing on, you know, how, how can you make this thing go faster? That's the goal. Make it go faster. All right. Thanks, guys.